Hard hits, road ragers, dangerous drivers, close calls, mortifying mistakes, that's not going anywhere moments, and much more await you in this week's episode of... Wham! Bam! Tesla Cam! I hope you're satisfied! Christian's girlfriend was headed to work after borrowing his Model Y, but watch what happened right after she stopped for a red light. The driver of a red Nissan had fallen asleep at the wheel before crashing into her at full speed. Even though she had her foot on the brake pedal, the force of the impact pushed the Tesla forward and started a domino effect that involved two cars ahead of it as well. All the drivers were able to get out of their vehicles, which is a miracle considering the force of the impact. That's when the Nissan driver said they'd fallen asleep. Firefighters and paramedics responded, and Christian's girlfriend was the only driver who was injured in the collision. She was taken to the hospital with a broken pinky finger and is recovering just fine. They filed a claim with the Nissan driver's insurance provider. Christian hasn't received a repair estimate yet, but he's pretty sure his Model Y will be totaled. He wanted to shout out his girlfriend Grace for keeping her cool after the collision. Norak was driving his Model S southbound on I-75 in Atlanta, Georgia, when he noticed a red Mitsubishi coming up behind him fast. After coming within inches of Norak's Tesla, the Mitsubishi driver swerved to avoid a collision and lost control. The Mitsubishi driver spun in front of Norak before smashing into a Nissan in the right lane. Both vehicles then crashed into a concrete barrier. Norak stopped and checked on both drivers after the Mitsubishi rolled upside down. Thankfully, both drivers were fine and able to walk away unscathed. The police quickly responded to the scene, and they were thankful when Norak gave them a copy of his Tesla cam footage. Norak told us he's not happy that the collision happened, but he is thankful his own car wasn't involved. Chris was driving his Model 3 down a highway in Arizona, and as he was about to pass a truck towing a trailer, a freak accident occurred. Chris described the incident by saying, the truck released its flying guillotine to try and stop me from passing. Well, he's not wrong. The truck pulled over and Chris kept going since no contact was made. Chris told us he loves our show, but doesn't love seeing other people's property get destroyed. Sorry, Chris, but you're not gonna like the other videos coming up in this episode. Taryn was headed to a stand-up comedy show after picking up some friends. As the road he was driving down began to split, the driver of a Chevy Camaro realized he was in the wrong lane. The driver activated his turn signal, but as Taryn came up next to him, he changed lanes and sideswiped his Tesla. The Camaro driver seemed to struggle to get his car started again, indicated by his headlights turning on and off. But once he'd managed to get it running, he just took off. Taryn told us, you've got to be an idiot to leave the scene of an accident with a Tesla involved. Taryn managed to flag down a passing police car, but the officer was headed to another call and left after making sure nobody was hurt. It was difficult for Taryn to decipher the Camaro's plate number, but he was able to confirm he had the right number using a free online tool to look up the car's make, model, and color. He filed a claim with his own insurance provider, and they're now pursuing the Camaro driver to pay for the damage. Repairing Terran's Tesla is estimated to cost 17,000 US dollars. Ethan was driving his Model 3 down a highway in Dover, New Hampshire, when traffic slowed to a stop. Ethan slowed down, but the truck behind him didn't and plowed into his Tesla at 60 miles per hour, shoving it forward into another car as well. The Tesla immediately began powering down, so Ethan quickly saved the Tesla cam clip, removed his flash drive, and put a window down so he'd be able to get back in once the car had shut down. The truck that hit him was a work truck that was uninsured. Ethan had to file a claim with his own insurance provider, and when the repair quote reached 20,000 US dollars, they totaled his Model 3. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in the collision, and Ethan used his insurance settlement to replace his Tesla with a Model 3 long range a month later. Jason was traveling with his family from Virginia to Florida when he parked his Model Y in a mall parking lot. And no, this story isn't about those eyelashes. An unknown man walked up to Jason's white Model Y, and at this point we should let you know, this guy also owns a white Model Y. He tried desperately to open the frunk with his Tesla app, but what he didn't realize was that his car was parked two spots over, and its frunk opened right up without any problem. He then tried to open Jason's front manually, and that's when he realized his mistake. 
All he could do then was hope Jason isn't a Wham Bam fan, which, as you might have guessed, he is. No worries, Florida man. We've all been there, or at least some of us have been, like this next guy, for example. McKay was at work when a phone notification informed him that his Tesla had stopped charging. When he pulled up the live sentry mode view on his phone, he saw this guy trying to remove the charging adapter from his Tesla. Obviously, activating the fart noise seemed like the best course of action. McKay knows he could have used his car's speakers to talk to the guy through the Tesla app, but he'd been waiting for this kind of moment for too long not to take advantage of it. He spammed the fart button 10 to 15 times until the guy stopped touching his car. That's when McKay realized the other guy had gotten confused after thinking it was his car, which was actually parked two spots over. The guy plugged McKay's Tesla back in before he left. McKay doesn't know how the guy made this mistake. It's true that they are both Model 3s, but his Tesla has different wheels and is even a different color. The other guy got in his own Tesla and drove off. No harm, no foul. Patrick's Tesla Model 3 was parked in its usual spot in his driveway when a snowplow drove by one night. The snowplow operator noticed the Tesla and hit the brakes before backing up for a closer look. He then drove away, only to come back for another pass, this time with nefarious intentions as he made sure to get even closer to the Tesla. The snowplow operator activated the snowblower attachment with the chute aimed directly at Patrick's Model 3, covering it in snow, rocks, and dirt. This activated the alarm, and when Patrick watched the video, he couldn't believe his eyes. Neither can we. What is going on here? Patrick contacted the company and spoke with the snowplow operator who denied this happened, and told Patrick the dirt and rocks must have been from the road. Patrick then told him he had video footage of the event, but Patrick still prefers to believe this was just a mistake. Gabriel was sitting in a parking lot waiting for his mother to finish her grocery shopping when a lady walking past a poorly parked cart accidentally awakened the cart demon. Gabriel froze, then said he saw his life flash before his eyes as he watched the cart quickly approaching his car. After shaking off his fear, he jumped out at the last minute in an attempt to stop the cart demon's rampage. He managed to stop the cart with mere inches to spare. You know how they say that cool guys don't look at explosions? Gabriel sure earned that action hero walk after pulling off that epic save. He told us that after returning to his Tesla, he opened the YouTube app on the center screen and watched the latest episode of Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Did you know we have a Spotify playlist? If you really want to get your heart pumping, try listening to it while you're driving. It's like living inside of a Wham Bam video. Marcello was driving down a road at about 35 miles per hour when traffic suddenly stopped after a lane merge for someone making a right turn. Marcello was able to swerve and stop. The driver of the Toyota Tundra behind Marcello also avoided a collision, but it was sadly rear-ended by the Ford F-150 behind it, and the impact nearly pushed the Tundra into Marcello's Tesla. Marcello stopped and checked on the drivers. He also called emergency services as a precaution, and they responded quickly. The Tundra driver followed them to the hospital to get checked out. Marcello got the Tundra driver's number and sent him a copy of his Tesla cam footage once he'd gotten home. Then he sent another copy of it to Wham Bam. Thanks, Marcello. Philip and Emmett were sitting at a supercharger when they suddenly couldn't believe what they were seeing. Three dogs riding on top of a truck as it drove around a building. After doing double takes, they were glad their Tesla cam confirmed that they weren't going crazy. While Lee was driving to pick up some pizza with the full self-driving beta engaged, his car successfully navigated around a focused, non-terminal repeating phantasm, or a Class 5 full roaming vapor. Real nasty one, too. At least, that's what Lee called it, but if you don't believe in ghosts, you might also call it a big soap bubble. Still, it's funny that FSD detected and avoided it. Frank's wife was driving her Tesla Model 3 when another driver sped up the right lane to illegally overtake her as well as the Model Y in front of her. The other driver, who was now driving way too fast, lost control and crashed into the wall before his car flipped over. Frank's wife called first responders before making sure the driver and his child were okay. The child was fine but shaken up. Thankfully, nobody was injured. 
they knew was leaving a grocery store after shopping and a red Model 3 parked behind him hadn't been parked very well. Is it possible this Tesla driver doesn't have the best parking skills? When Venu began backing up, he noticed the red Model 3 also backing up, so he stopped. The red Model 3 then continued reversing until it hit the bumper cover of a parked Toyota Sienna. Here's a little tip for you. Never park behind a car whose driver doesn't know how to stay between the lines. The driver of the Sienna was actually sitting in the minivan and got out to see what had happened. But while he was looking at the damage, the driver of the red Model 3 took off. Venu quickly informed the Sienna driver that he had footage of the other Tesla hitting his minivan. He gave a copy of his Tesla cam footage to the Sienna driver, but he doesn't know if he pursued the issue any further. He did tell us the Sienna had visible scrapes and red paint that had transferred from the other Model 3. Matt was headed to a friend's house on a road with a speed limit of 55 miles per hour when he approached a tan sedan going about 48 miles per hour. When it was safe and legal to do so, Matt began to pass the sedan over a dotted yellow line. Either this triggered the sedan driver, or he might just be a Tesla hater as Matt suspects. The sedan driver sped up to block Matt's overtake. Even though Matt only has a base Model 3, he was surprised the old sedan was nearly able to keep up with him. Matt told us he had to accelerate to over 90 miles per hour to complete the pass, and he thinks the sedan was doing about 85. Matt then slowed down to about 50 miles per hour to match the speed of the SUV ahead of him. The sedan driver began tailgating Matt's Tesla, then he tried to make an overtake of his own. His pass attempt was in a no passing zone over a double yellow line, completely illegal, and he nearly hit an oncoming SUV head on before both drivers slammed on their brakes. The sedan driver briefly stopped on the shoulder to catch his breath before continuing, probably realizing that satisfying his road rage was not worth it. Matt didn't call the police as he believes the sedan driver's Code Brown maneuver was good enough to teach him a lesson. He also explained to us what Code Brown means and let's just say you should not look it up. This emitter was exiting a roundabout when a pickup almost crashed into him. The pickup came so close, our submitter couldn't understand how they hadn't made contact. The crazy part of this story is that our submitter was headed home from the shop when this happened, after his Model S had spent five months getting the same parts repaired that were nearly hit again. The pickup driver eventually made a U-turn and headed back to the roundabout to take the exit he'd missed. Speaking of U-turns, Michael was heading home after taking his mother out for her birthday when they saw headlights coming toward them on the highway. It seems like the driver realized they were going the wrong way and decided to make a U-turn in the middle of traffic. It took Michael a second to comprehend what was happening. Then he slammed on the brakes and swerved to go behind the vehicle as it turned across the lanes. Michael told us a CHP officer had passed him less than a minute before this happened, and he wonders how the officer missed the wrong way driver. Trent's wife and her mother were driving into town when they found themselves behind a truck hauling some storage containers down the highway. As they accelerated up to highway speed, Trent's mother-in-law exclaimed that one of the containers didn't appear to be secured. Right after she'd said that, Trent's wife changed lanes to go around the trailer. That's when the container in question fell out of the trailer and onto the highway. Thankfully, the only thing damaged was the container as the vehicle following behind was able to avoid hitting it. Jacob swerved to the right in an attempt to avoid a collision with a Mustang headed the wrong way. The Mustang hit the driver's side of Jacob's Model S and ripped out his rear wheel and suspension. Jacob called the police within 30 seconds of the collision and went to check on the other driver. But he wanted to stay in his car to wait for the police since he could hear a dog barking somewhere in the woods. The Mustang driver's insurance provider accepted full responsibility for the collision, but his coverage wasn't enough to fully cover the damage. So Jacob's insurance provider had to make up the difference. Tesla was driving his Tesla. Yes, his legal name is actually Tesla as he was named after the famous scientist. He was actually born 10 days before the release of the first Tesla vehicles and his parents knew nothing of the car company or even Elon Musk at the time. Anyway, Tesla was driving his Tesla behind another Tesla on New Year's Eve in California. Traffic was so bad, he realized he'd still be stuck in traffic at the stroke of midnight. The drivers all put their cars in park and jumped out to enjoy the show. Everyone was honking and cheering. 
Tesla told us that being stuck in traffic is typical for Californians. Still, he loves this New Year's Eve memory of standing next to his Tesla while behind another Tesla, which was behind another Tesla. How many was that? 11? Let's make it an even dozen. Tesla. Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.